We've got four lights in the line currently. Uh, we've got a front and a rear light that is uh, this little LED monkey here. And this light uh, has got multiple settings. So you've got constant, you've got dim, you've got fast flashing and low flashing. But this rear light has got a built-in accelerometer. If I throw it up <laughs> and catch it with a bit of force, it glows brighter. Obviously I'm trying to emulate a bicycle stopping, which is quite difficult to do. Uh, retails are 30 quid, you can mount it any way you want. Uh, nice, robust rubber strap, um, fits on most diameter seat posts. Uh, I've even had that strap uh, on the top, uh, fitting in on the top of the helmet with one of the other lights. Just slides on and off of the mount as well, so really nice, nice little clip system on there. So that's a front or rear LED for 30 quid. And then we've got two front lights, the FL150 and the FL300. Uh, obviously FL being front light, 150 and 300 being the lumens. Uh, both, uh, this one doesn't come with a USB charging cable because you can plug it straight into uh, USB. So it's 150 lumens um, and the you cycle through the different settings, so we've got flashing or constant, and then if you press and hold, then you get these different coloured LEDs, either white or uh, red. So basically, you can run your rear light on high beam, and if you start to get low on battery, you can switch to a flashing white LED, or you can cycle it through and get your different cycles. So the mount uh, is fully adjustable, um, through that rubber strap so you can put it on any way you want. And then 300 which is this one here, same thing, slightly different though, these are both these are both uh, an aluminium body and a sandblasted finish, really high quality. If I turn this one on, so we've got 300 lumens, nice and bright. You've got a dial at the back here and this gives you your different settings, so we've got flashing, constant, bright and not so bright. So it's a really intuitive dial Press again for your LEDs at the top. Again, cycle the dial through to get all your different settings. Press it again to get to your white LEDs. Uh, and that one fits on top of the helmet really nicely, actually. Really lightweight, um, and that retails at 50 quid. It's a commuting and road light, uh, depending on where you live and where you ride. I mean, 300 lumens is, is fairly respectable for, for road and commuting. If you want to ride off-road or you live in the middle of the country, then you probably need something like a USC joystick with you know, a nice big power output. But certainly for most people in most situations, you know, that's a fairly, fairly robust light output and a pretty good uh, beam pattern as well to, for your average cyclist. Uh, these are also made for us by a company that specializes in manufacturing diving lights. So they're all waterproof, I believe, to IPX5, which is sort of like, uh, you can just about dip it in water, but you wouldn't want to leave it at the bottom of the pond for six months. Mm. Um, but really good range of lights from Fabric. You can see them all at fabric.cc, which is the website.